Sometimes we're just going to have to go through with it. I just woke up and I decided that I wanted to drive trucks. Let's get at it. Let's let's get at this one, shall we? Let's do it. Welcome back, everybody, to the Lockout Man podcast show. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? How y'all feeling today? Man, today's topic is that I woke up this morning, got myself a truck, got myself a truck. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? This comment comes from the Facebook group. And it it never ceased to amaze me how some people uh, think that getting into a truck is so damn easy. All I got to do is just go and do this and put this together and do that. And then, boom, I got my CDLs and I'm driving cross country. Well, according to a few people that I have came across so far, a, a couple of young folks, young folks, that's about, I think about 20-ish or something like that. They said they got their CDLs and they thought it was going to be easy to get in, but finding it hard themselves. They got their CDLs at the age of 20. They put in the name. They put in the applications. And nobody wants to give them a chance. Usually, the requirements is like maybe 21 and up. You you might get lucky on a on on a on a 20, especially if your birthday is within six months, I guess. I guess. I could be wrong, but they're finding it hard to jump into the industry after they woke up this morning and decided that they want to get into a truck. Now, I understand that, you know, with all the enticements that's out there, that social media is just just making this industry so, so candy coated, so we can get into it type deal. Of course, there's a whole lot of you out there that's working for Amazon that, you know, that that don't want to be working there for a long time. There's so few of you guys that's tired of making the 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 500, 600, maybe $300 a week job. There's so a few of you out there that that don't like the two job mantra that once you get off at four o'clock and then you only got a break for a half an hour and then you got to go back to another job to make ends meet. I get it. I understand it. Looking at the trucking industry looks like this, looks like this piece of meat just dangling off of a, off of a string. You go to social media and you see all these social media types that saying, oh, I'm sitting here making big money. I'm sitting here making thousands of dollars. I'm sitting here that making six figure. Follow me because I know a little bit about trucking. Because I know a little bit about and that's what you guys are doing but y'all not doing the homework y'all not doing the research y'all not doing the 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 diligence to to know what this industry is about y'all not doing that not at all y'all decided to get up one morning and decided to huh I wanted to drive trucks. Here we go. So yesterday, I just woke up. I woke up this morning, got myself a gun. So yesterday, I just woke up and that I just wanted to drive trucks. So I went to do some research and discovered that I need to take the test. But it's free. So today, I went to the DMV. And almost passed the CDL permit test for general knowledge. I got a 77% and the passing is 80. 
almost there, the DMV person told me. I come back tomorrow for another shot. Bro, you you just went down to the DMV. You did not read the book. You did not read. You you did not study. You did not do nothing. You just went down there and just just opened up the, the, the test and thought that you could just pass all easily because it's free, right? It's free, right? That's what you did? Bro, that's all that you did. You you did not study. You did not do nothing, right? Okay. Okay. I woke up this morning, got myself a gun. So let me get this straight. So this means you have done no studying to pass the three tests, not just the general knowledge, but there's three, bro. General knowledge, air brakes, and combinations. You didn't know that, right? Because you didn't do your research to know that it is more than one test that you got to pass just to get a permit, bro. That's all you getting is a permit, not a license, a permit. How about, how about endorsements? Did you think about that? You might need or want, you know, you uh, did, 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 did you do some research on that one, my G? I don't think you did, because if you did, you would have known that is two tests and the additional is endorsement. Did you do your research on school or what school that you want to go to? Or did you do your research on a company? That you might want to look at. Did you do that? No? Uh -huh. Okay. There's just a lot more than just taking the test, bro. I'm just saying, you know, for somebody like you to just wake up in the morning and just say, yo, I, I want to drive trucks. I give you the tenacity. I give you the A for or the E for effort. I'll give you that, my bro. But maybe you might want to just slow down, take a breath and make sure that you understand that this would understand what this is entails, dude, before, doing, and after you even get your CDL. I woke up this morning, got myself a gun. Don't you know February 7th is coming, my G? And it's going to be a lot of, a, a, a lot of different takes. You can't just go to your grandfather's school. You had to go to an accredited school. Did you do your research on that? Did you do your research on February 7th? No? Mm, okay. Well, I, I, again, I give you an E for effort, bruh. You know, everybody just thinks that they could just wake up one morning and just say, huh, I want to drive trucks. And, and, and they think it they could just jump into this and, and just started driving without doing no type of research. Maybe this is something that, that, that is not for you, bro. Maybe this is not for you. Think about that. Think about that before you decide to wake up one morning and think that you're going to jump into the DMV and pass the, 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 the permit test because it's free. I woke up this morning, got myself a gun. I'm just saying, yo, you guys like value. You guys like rocking with me on YouTube. Yo, look me up, man. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. Yo, hit me up. I appreciate you guys listening. And I'll get back at you guys with another one. Yo, y'all have a blessed one. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.